dear viewers, I speak today about tier 2 minister of religion. This types of visa is for uh, those individuals who want to come to the UK uh, or for uh, or as a minister of religion or missionary or member of a religious order uh, for any religious establishment such as mosque, churches, so these types of uh, establishment in the UK. In this video I'll speak the uh, details information eligibility requirement, required document and procedure to apply for a leave to remain or anti-clearance uh, application. The first requirement of this category of visa is a certificate of sponsorship. Certificate of sponsorship will assign by the home office and your employ employer uh, in your name uh, within a form of letter. This is basically a, a electronic record about your uh, details information personal details uh, however your home or your employer will issue uh, in the in the form of a letter with the reference them number so you need to uh, give this document to the relevant embassy uh, when you will submit your document uh, and with the passport for entry clearance uh, visa or leave to remain visa there is no requirement of appropriate salary uh, level so as soon as your employer uh, pay you minimum wages, that's fine. English language requirement, you must have a level of English uh, at B2 level, so you need to provide a B2 certificate. Maintaining funds, you must have £945 in your bank account for three months to maintain yourself while you will come to the UK. If you have any dependent, there, uh, you should also have £630 for part dependent application fee is uh, constantly changing but I'll tell you uh, uh, current fees you should uh, uh, check with the home office website at the time you made the application the application fee if you apply from outside the UK is 610 pound if you apply within the UK the application fee is 704 pound in addition to the application fee you will be required to pay the uh, NHS fee immigration health surcharge which is currently 400 pound per year if you are in the UK on any other visa category you can switch to tier 2 uh, minister of religion visa as well the application process is online there is no more paper based application so if you want to apply uh, uh, for uh, uh, tier 2 minister of Reli uh, religion visa and to go to the home office website as you see on the screen Minister of Religion Tier 2 visa. If you click online and it will take you to a link page, apply online. So if you click online, then it will take you to the UK visa immigration, uh, visa and immigration uh, application portal. And in the portal, you need to fill up the application form online from section 1 to 6. In the fifth section, you need to pay the home office fee, NHS fee and then uh, uh, finally section 6 you need to submit the application print the application form and you, you need to make an appointment with the embassy in the embassy in the, uh, the appointment you need to provide you need to submit uh, all the relevant document including your passport your uh, certificate of sponsorship your b2 english language certificate your bank statement uh, and if you have any expired passport also you need to submit as well as if if required you need to pay the you need to uh, submit the uh, medical certificate for TB test as well so all the supporting document you need to submit to the uh, to the relevant embassy at your apartment once you submit the uh, form uh, and the document they will forward your document and the passport to the relevant anti clearance manager and the what the manager will do uh, our anti clearance officer will do. They will make a decision on the basis of your information and document. If they refuse your application, uh, then you can apply for administrative review. You cannot do appeal, however, you can challenge the decision by way of judicial review. If your sponsor, uh, once uh, you come to the UK, you need to comply with the condition of your visa and sponsor. In case if your uh, sponsor withdraws the sp uh, sponsorship, uh, then uh, they will report to the home office and the home office will cut to your visa. Probably you will get 60 days a letter from the home office to leave the UK or switch any other category of visa. 
if you come to the UK on this visa, you will you, you will be able to live three years, uh, fourteen days, or uh, that uh, that uh, as much time uh, sponsored by your sponsor. Uh, so you can live in the UK. You can bring a family member in the UK as soon as they are dependent. You will not able to claim public fund. You will not able to work as a dentist, doctor, or sport professional. You may able to work a second job for 20 hours in certain circumstances. So these are the basic information. I hope you get some information and idea. Uh, if you need any uh, specific information or if you have any question, you can contact me by my email address at skinadv.suhel at gmail.com. You can contact me by WhatsApp as well. Uh, I hope uh, uh, this information will help you if you want to come to the UK on this note. Thank you. Bye for tonight.